was supposed to be a signature site in Albuquerque as you head down I-25, a bridge lit up in cool blue lights. But there's a dark site. It's not working. The lights keep going out, and as News 13's Chris McKee found out on special assignment, it's going to cost a small fortune to fix the fairly new project. When Albuquerque goes dark, a different kind of light show comes alive at I-25 in Osuna on one of the city's newest bridges. That's the eye appealing. I think it's a perfect fit. Nearly 400 LED light boxes make the Bear Canyon Arroyo Pedestrian Bridge glow blue. It was a costly $327,000 public art project that the city turned on two years ago. And we were all just in, in completely impressed and wowed. This was a really important public art project for our program. But the city's public art director, Sherry Bruger, admits that the blue lights are now becoming a big headache, one that's going to cost the city hundreds of thousands of dollars to cure. We've been um, pretty, uh, pretty devastated. It's not the bulbs that are going out, it's the entire light box. Dozens of them are fried. Yeah, it doesn't look the same. The lights were supposed to last around 20 years, but less than two months after their debut, many started dying out. Public art says rain in July 2013 from one of the city's biggest storms seeped into the light boxes. And that was an extremely rare uh, storm condition uh, that we weren't necessarily prepared for. These handcrafted lighting fixtures, some of them suffered water damage. Those boxes are supposed to be waterproof, but up close you can see the city didn't get what it was promised. Uh, the seals on some of the lighting fixtures uh, were not as robust as we uh, thought that they probably would be. Early last year, News 13 first reported the city was working on a lighting fix they hoped would be in place by now. But today, the city says the blue lights that went dark are dead can't be repaired and they're about to foot a big bill for it. We took some risk on this bridge and unfortunately, you know, we we now have to uh, retract and we got we got to figure out a solution for this. So how did taxpayers get stuck with these waterlogged lights? The city says the New York artist behind the project had a New York company called Drama Lighting handcraft those light boxes. Now that company is out of business. So is the contractor, A.S. Horner, which built the bridge. And it left us with very little legal recourse. When a company folds and there's no assets left to pursue, it, it there was there was really nothing Thing we could do. The city says eventually all of these lights will be replaced, but they don't know when, and a lot of that has to do with the cost. That cost to replace the blue lights on the bridge deck could top $200,000. The new plan is a familiar one, use the same system that lights up the big eye. Other working lights will be reused on the bridge. Brueggemann says getting rid of the project would still cost the city a lot of money in time and labor. Do you think you guys are going to take some heat for this one and, and what happened here? The public art program has been around for 37 years. Yeah, we don't always get every single public art project right off the bat, but, you know, we continue to make Albuquerque a beautiful place to be. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. The city says it could get started on redoing the bridge lights by the end of the year. Crews will have to shut down I-25 a little at a time to do it. If you head to our KRQE News app, you can check out a photo gallery of the lights and video that gives you a close-up look at the problems on the bridge.